Welcome back to the show. If you are just joining us, this is KTN Life and Style Feel Good Friday. And we are getting back to our trending topics of the week. So let's dish Simon. Mm -hmm. So Bahati released a new song, a new video for his song called Bahati Nyota. Can. You know, this Simon is different for me. You know, he's international. I think Nyota, Nyota is star. Grew yes. up in the States, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's star, right? Go ahead. So Nyota is star. Uh -huh. And in this video, he has a certain... You know, leading lady, and she's wearing an outfit that's really, you know, form fitting, exactly, uh -huh. quite tight with a high slit. And most of his fans are complaining and are like, you know, this this does not look very gospelish. It, it, it's a love song. Uh, yeah, let it be. Those are holier than thou. Who mm -hmm. knows what? Who know what they do in the dark? Mm -hmm. And you're over there saying, what? Well, oh, we don't want to see your stuff. Listen, yeah. your talk comes out in the dark, and you know what y'all do in the dark. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to chill out. And that was actually a pretty okay song. I watched it. Mm -hmm. I literally just watched it yesterday, and I was like, okay, this is actually not so bad. Yeah. But I get what he was trying to do, like um, mm -hmm. showing. It was like a mixture of like Nyota girl, and then at the same time Nyota like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's like the star of mm -hmm. my life mm -hmm. and all the other nice Christian y things that you mm -hmm. guys mm -hmm. do. But at mm -hmm. the same time, this goes to show you that Christians are more what? Judgmental so than true. other it people. It is very true. Christians, and that's the truth. Like, I'm not saying this to like bash anyone or anything like that, Simon. Of course, I would never do that. But I feel like um, most audience are very critical mm. of um, gospel musicians in Kenya, especially when it comes to, you know, artists like Willie Paul yeah. and Bahati. But also, don't you think that? that you have, they have a duty. You've put yourself out there as a gospel artist. Mm -hmm. There's a certain image that you have to maintain no. as a gospel artist. No, so I, I, I say cut that. I okay. say cut that. Why? 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 Will you live your life mm. as uh, on perceiving to other people's uh, perception? Mm -hmm. Or oh, hell to no, the freaking no. Never, seven. never. Forget perception. Cut it all. Let people just see it. And mm -hmm. then even they criticize it. Whether even you try to put, polish it up or anything, mm -hmm. they will still criticize it and everything. And that's coming from a pastor's kid. Okay. Hi, Dad. Okay. So <laughs> hallelujah. Preach, yes, preach exactly. it. Preach it. Pastor's so that's you cut it. So do you don't think that they have a responsibility no, to the No, responsibility for who is your responsibility to live to your life. Audience. No, I don't have responsibility for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, seriously, I do not have it. Mm -hmm. And I have responsibility to be me mm -hmm. 125%. Mm -hmm. I have responsibility to be who my mama pushed me out to be. Exactly. Right. That's right. what it is. All right. All right. That's I, said, it. I said this is going to be a tough one. Okay. That's so it. Let's disagree. <laughs> let's agree to disagree because I feel, let me tell you how I feel. I'm Simon. listening. I feel that as a gospel artist, you are someone who's trying to set an example, correct? Yeah. Through your music and through the way that you live your life. You're a gospel artist. You're representing God. You're mm. representing the gospel. Mm. You're representing, you know, that life. So do you not feel that responsibility? Because there's so many young people, there's so many young Christians out I there who look to you and they see how you behave. And okay, you know, you're grown up. You mm. don't have to mimic what someone else is doing. Mm. But... You know, I just feel like they have a responsibility. To yes, the they are, they, okay, you can say they have a responsibility to act in a certain direction because you have actually put yourself in that context, mm -hmm. and hence you're putting yourself in that those morals and everything um, mm -hmm. cocoon you within a certain like behavior, and you're supposed to behave in a certain way. Mm -hmm. But the key thing is you also have a because you're an artist gener in generality. You have to be yeah. in art. You have to be being an artistic side. Mm -hmm. He's not done anything like quote unquote immoral. True. And remember, mor morality is relative based mm -hmm. on where you are. Very true, Simon. And where you were raised up Very on. True. So that's the truth. Very true. So, yeah. Okay, so let's lay that one to rest. <laughs> and let's take it over to the United States. I'm sure you guys have heard about what happened to Jesse Smollett. He's yes. the star actor of the series Empire. Mm. Jamal Lyon. I know everybody like, loves enough. Jamal. Good Thank enough. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he is my absolute favorite character on that show. He's such a sweet, sweet what person. What season is that on? Um, Empire. Yeah, Empire season what? Season um, like six, I don't know. Seven? Is this season? I'm sorry, I got lost somewhere yeah, after Anika. Everybody died. Anika, lost. I don't know. Somebody died, died yes. and then I was like, Nah, Most I'm done. Most people left it at that. Being very yeah, honest, true like, story. I'm true done. Story. I'm done. Uh -huh. So anyway, he was involved in a homophobic attack. Yeah. He was leaving a Chicago hotel, and um, unfortunately, um, some two guys decided to run up on him. They thoroughly beat him up. They poured bleach on him and they had a noose with them and they were shouting, you know, MAGA. Yeah, this you is know? MAGA country. This is MAGA country. Yeah, you know, you know who that comes from. Yeah, Mr. Of course. <laughs> yes. Mr. We got this. <laughs> But this is our country. You know him. Yes, a, yeah. we all know who he's talking about. Exactly. Uh, President Donald Trump. And it's been such it's I don't even I don't even know what to say because 
if you watch Empire, you know how sweet this guy is. But then again, you don't want to say how sweet or how not mm -hmm. sweet a person is based on how they act because literally they're faking it. In, in real in, life in, as well, because uh, 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 I stalk oh, oh, his Instagram. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. That's a, Okay, huge. I am a huge fan. Okay, cool. Huge. So I stalk his Instagram and I know what's up. I know he's a sweet person. But and anyway, any attack like this mm -hmm. kind of shows the insecurities of other people. Yeah. Like, why are you worried about another person, what they're doing even in, in the dark? Because immediately when someone hears about homophobic whatever attack, mm -hmm. they immediately know, like, okay, this person is this way. So that means yeah. they do this at night. Sure. It's like, what? Why are you worried about which hole? Even if it's the wrong hole, leave them a person alone to do whatever they want to do at night. True. You, on the other hand, you're showing your insecurities by acting out and trying mm -hmm. to lash that other person and try to um, bash them because of your own feeling you're like you're either... You feel like you need to like enforce your morals, yeah. enforce your beliefs on other people, on other people yeah, which and which is now sense. not the right way to actually handle situations. It nowadays. doesn't so, make yeah. sense at all. That as long as it doesn't interfere with your rights, yeah, you know. Yeah, as true. if I'm doing something that interferes with your rights, mm -hmm. that's now when it becomes it a becomes issue. a problem. Yeah. But you know, more power to the black people, and that's why we have to talk about <laughs> black. Panther. Wakanda I mean, forever. Wakanda forever. Like, if you haven't watched Black Panther, like, honestly, I don't know what you're doing with your life, hey, right but uh, you need to get on it right now. And Black Panther is doing amazing things. They're having so many breakthroughs. They just recently won an award at the SAG Awards Sag. for the best, you know, best ensemble cast, which is huge. Huge. It's that's like huge. the biggest award you had award show. Exactly. That is the truth. I mean, and, and that's the, that was a big thing. Did yeah. you see the award? Uh, I saw the uh, acceptance speech. You know, they began to, um, the lead actor. I can't remember that guy's name. Chadwick um, Boseman. Hey, of baby. Course, she, I didn't know, she had to know his name. So anyway, he <laughs> started giving his speech. You know how they play the music when they want you to get off? Uh -huh. He's like, no, don't you play the music. Nah. I got something to say. Mm, and he's going to say it. And <laughs> he indeed. said it. And, and he said this it. This is actually nice. And they've been nominated for the Oscars. Uh, six nominations. Six. Six nominations you guys Yo. and that is huge because a superhero blockbuster movie has never yeah ever 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 breaking news ever wakanda been nominated for an oscar forever so, you know that's how it is you know? and we gotta win some oscars we if there's ever oscar. gonna be a host for the oscars by the way since kevin Hart pulled out oh, no. is there anybody there actually oh, no. Oh, no. That <laughs> but, sucks. I, but i hope that actually this leads up mm -hmm. to this is a nice precedent this leads up to them winning several oscars mm -hmm. and that'll be a nice thing that like, even you know people thought that maybe this uh they were, by the time black panther came out yeah. that the fuzz even the energy the whole ecstatic mm -hmm. energy around it would mm -hmm. have fizzled down during awards time mm -hmm. so they would not be able to win an awards yeah. but boy have we proved them wrong uh, we have proved uh, them uh, wakanda uh, does uh, not uh, die uh, we uh, are wakanda standing up forever. like black panther and wakanda we are forever. yes we are wakanda, wakanda forever. forever all right that. so that's all well and good that's yes, amazing hey, mm -hmm. so let's go on to our last topic we all know and we all love akoti do we all our <laughs> just joking. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, Sana, you better watch it. You better watch it. So obviously, she's been so so open about her struggles. She's never hidden anything. She's been open about the fact that she was a house help before. You know, she hit. You know, she hit fame, and she recently shared a very very emotional video talking about how she went through so much before she gave birth to one of her daughters. Like she had nothing to eat, Whoa. like at all. And you can imagine, you just had birth. You just given birth to a a little baby and you're hungry you're starving and you gotta breastfeed the child and you gotta breastfeed the child so wow. where are you getting your nutrients from I, so I mean, that's, that can be crazy i mean i don't know i mean I've not, I've not i've not had i've not been a mama i mean i, I, mean, I cannot say Simon, we don't know we don't know that know, for a fact uh, wait i'm not a mama <laughs> uh -huh. you know. but you know that thing is i'm sure that can be crazy mm -hmm. i mean i mean like for example you're trying to like eat you know when you're pregnant you even if you give birth you're eating for two yeah you're not exactly. eating for yourself mm -hmm. you, you got to eat for you and the child mm -hmm. and uh, for her to come out and say that i mean yeah. i guess that could empower even other people who have gone through who are going through that particular Very scenario true. and actually give them even, even a little bit of morale even mm -hmm. motiva motivation to like you know what if i've gone through this and i've come out and my child is actually now healthy and living mm -hmm. i mean there is nothing that you as a mom or even a single mom mm -hmm. can not go through even you can you know conquer it all yeah. and, and Plus, you've made it through January, mm -hmm. so you can literally conquer it all. Exactly. So, yes, and we are here. <laughs> We're still standing. I mean, after 70 days of January, we have made it. But it's an absolutely... 
It's your. Ooh. It was my birth month. Yes, exactly. January. Yeah, January. I'm so a I have like a, I have I'm like a February ha- baby. Are you why, February baby? Why, why did you tell me? Uh, seriously, we can do. We can still do something. We okay, got we, time, we, Sarah. <laughs> we got time. We can cool. have like a joint birthday party. But I love it. It's amazing how someone came forward and helped you. There was a the lady who was selling fish, and she decided to give Akoti some free fish. And yeah. you know that's 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 because you will see how people uh, genuinely. You know how we have like many stories about how humans like have so many horrors. Like mm-hmm. people are so horrific. Like terrorist attacks here. Mm-hmm. So and so has done this, murders here and whatever. Now you gotta even remember that there are actually good people out there, there are. and sometimes these are good actions and kind actions are not always highlighted. So hence, people may think that generality, I mean generally, people are mean and mm. people are generally like bad. But mm. you'd be shocked that there are many good stories out there with people who have good hearts and they just that they're not highlighted most of the time. Like Ted yeah. Ray. Thank you. Thank you so much, Very Simon. humble at the same Very time. Humble. I can see it. I mean, humility <laughs> is my strongest quality. Thank you so much, Simon, for joining no us on the trending topics. And of course, right now, my tummy is already rumbling because we are taking you to the kitchen segment. Mikali, what's going on in the kitchen? Well, thank you for holding it down. That was a catch up with Simon Says. Isn't he a cray cray person? But we love him. We love him, love him, love him, love him. We are at the Mayura restaurant at the Cane Rail Towers in Westlands. And we are right in the Mayura kitchen. And with me, I have the owner of the Mayura group and the chef of the day and the assistant chef of the day. And we're going to start a conversation and find out just a little bit about the Mayura restaurant as a group. How are you, Raju? Very well. Thank you very much. And I welcome you and all your listeners to the Mayura Kitchen. Absolutely. So I did not know that we actually have a Mayura right next to where I live. And it's so exciting that I found out today because it is such an amazing place to be and the food is out of this world. Thank you very much. As you rightly said, we have now three locations. We started with Hub in Karen. This is our second location, Westlands uh, Kendrill Towers. And we have one inside the SGR terminal in Siokimo. Absolutely. You have an interesting uh, theme for this particular restaurant. It's um, peacock themed. Why peacock? Well, for various reasons. One, uh, peacock is the national bird of India for for the people that don't know. So it's an Indian restaurant. Second, uh, peacock is uh, a very sacred bird in Hindu mythology, in Indian mythology. You know, Lord Krishna used to carry a peacock feather always. And uh, also peacock is the most colorful nature's creation. So it allows us to play with colors and make it the place very vibrant, etc. So uh, peacock is the right, right theme for us. Great. Just before we get into the food, it looks really beautiful over here. But what would you say Mayura Restaurant is known for? Well, I would say that Mayura Restaurant is known for four pillars and four things. And I've always said that, you know, the great quality food with great ambience, with great service and also value for money. And I think all of that we've put together under the Mayura umbrella to give the experience to our consumers. Absolutely. So what are we having here today? Well, uh, let me not steal the thunder, but this is one of the classic dishes that we have, the best-selling dish, which is called the classic butter chicken. Uh, there are various ways of preparing butter chicken across the world, but you know there is the short way, there is the long way, and there is the right way. So Chef Praveen and Chef uh, Kevin are going to take you through the classic butter chicken, the authentic Indian way. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I'm going to go right into our chef, uh, Chef uh, Praveen. How are you doing today? I'm making today butter chicken, classic butter chicken. Okay, great. So you, uh, can we just check what you have here? Maybe you can tell us uh, what is here. How are you, Kevin, by the way? Sorry. I'm very fine. <laughs> You're good? Yeah. Karibia, Karibia. Let's find out. So what is here? What is placed over here? And what are we making? Classic butter chicken, mm-hmm. uh, garlic, uh, chicken, chicken. toasted, mm-hmm. and cream, butter, and t- uh, tomato gravy. Great. So, uh, are we going to have some naan today, Kevin? Yeah, we're going to have some, we are going to have some naans. Butter naan? Butter naan, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, let's get right into it. Is this where it's going to be happening from? All right, so what do we start with? Uh, a bit of oil. Cu- cu- oil. Okay. <laughs> and a small uh, garlic. Uh-huh. A bit of garlic right there. Yeah, yeah brown. Telling us Kevin what's happening. What else is going to be put in? What is that? This one is butter. That's butter. Okay. So butter. you can put normal oil and then you add a bit of butter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's 
Let's first go by the chicken, of course. Beautiful. Yeah. And then we put roasted chicken. Roasted. So you roast this on the side. Yeah. yeah. Tandoor spice first. it? Yeah, we spice it a little bit. Do you use for the chicken to roast it? Uh, like tandoori or is it like, I don't know, garlic? Garlic, uh, chili, kasuri ah. methi, mm -hmm. and salt. Ah, okay, great. So, what is that? What, what did he just put on? Oh, this is the, the yellow thing. What is that? Uh, tomato gravy. Ah, tomato gravy. Yeah. Tomato gravy. Uh -huh. And uh, cashew nut paste. Cashew nut paste. Yeah. Wow. Cashew nut paste. Is that, do you get to buy that or do you make it from scratch? Yeah, we crush ourselves. You crush it? But we, we buy crushed, then we, we do, and we grind. Uh, cream. Okay. Oh, you put the cream as well? Yeah. Salt. Okay. Just a pinch. Chili. Bit of chili there, people. Kasuri methi. What is that? Kasuri methi. Kasuri methi. What is that? What is, is, is it like a spice? Yeah. I think no, it's spice. spice. Indian spice. Okay, okay. Great stuff. It actually smells really, really good already. And that was super fast. Yeah. That was super fast. And a bit more butter. Yeah, last, uh, last finish, cream and butter. Is there particular portions to this, Ama? You just stop when you feel like it's right. No, we, we put a portion. You just put a portion. Yeah. So mentally, you know. You know the portion. You know the portion yeah. to do that. Oh my God, is that ready? Yeah, yeah ready. Already? Oh my goodness. Okay. Do we get to serve it, uh, plate it, and uh, what is it going to go with? What are we having it with? With a naan. With a naan, okay. Yeah. So do we see the preparation of that as well? Yeah. Okay, great. So we serve this. Yeah. People, the batter chicken is ready. And it looks really yummy. And it smells really good. Really, really good. And you know what happens during this kitchen segments, Tandiwe is always lacking in the corner. <laughs> He's always lacking in the corner waiting. So you add a bit of uh, cream. The cream. And uh, butter. You add butter as well. Yeah, butter chicken. Also, it just melts right into that. Yes. Beautiful. That looks really good. That's, uh, it looks pretty hot. So can we um, whew, get to see? We get to taste now? Okay. I taste it. Okay, great. <laughs> so hot, is it? Well, it is not. Okay. Uh, just try a little. Okay. I'm just going to try without the chicken first because I'm scared of being burnt. Butter chicken, the classic. Mind the temperature. This is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you have it with naan, pair mm -hmm. it with naan, mm -hmm. it'll taste awesome. Oh my God, this is really good. Because this is mine, I'm, I'm allowed to double dip. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> yeah, certainly so this is not yours. This is not yours, and the chili is just right. So if your food is spicy, if you like your food spicy, the Mayura restaurant is exactly the place you should be at. Raju, can people order from home? Well, absolutely. Uh, we have our own delivery system, uh, and we have our own numbers, and we're uh, tied up with Jumia, Yum, and other delivery mechanisms, mm -hmm. and they can simply order from their homes. Social media handles and... Um Locations well, again. Well, you can reach us at uh, on our Facebook page at the Mayura. We are on Instagram at the Mayura. Uh, we are on Twitter at uh, Mayura Nairobi. So, um, so there are various ways to reach us on, and you can always call us on uh, any of our restaurant numbers. Uh, this one where we are uh, 0732 Very simple to remember. Absolutely. Something else I'd like to ask because people would be asking that when they hear the restaurant Tico Westlands, thinking it's pricey. What is like? What have just, what uh, uh, Chef Ravin, Praveen just made for us, uh, paired with um, uh, butter naan? How uh, how much would that cost? 
Well, as I said, you know, one of our pillars is value for money. Absolutely. So whilst we've created a great ambience and great service and great food, we don't want to be a five-star pricing. Mm -mm. So what you see here is a full butter chicken, a uh, full plate of butter chicken, which can easily be shared by two people, mm -hmm. and it costs just nine fifty. And then, you know, uh, so we've, we've kept and the it pricing have to very... pay for my accompaniment. It comes with it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you can either pair it with a naan or a rice or, you know, any of the other dishes that we have because we have a very extensive menu. And this is just one of the dishes that is very popular. But we've got mutton, we've got chicken, then we've got whole of veggies. Uh, I think the, the variety is, is quite exhaustive. Absolutely. I totally love it. I just have to dip one more time. And I hope I'll get my naan later. So we're going to come back here to find the yes. naan, right? So uh, okay, Chef Kevin is going to make some naans. Okay. And then uh, maybe you can do a pairing with naan and see how it goes. Absolutely. So uh, as we go on a break, people... <laughs> and attendee was looking at me with those green-eyed monster eyes. Well, I said eyes twice, but hey, you know what? Talk to us on social media. You know where to find us. We are the Mayurafian Westlands. Just pop in, people. See what we do behind the scenes is the Mayura Restaurant at Kenrill Towers. KTN Life and Style on Facebook. KTN Life underscore Style on Twitter and Instagram. We're taking a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 